Advancing Ecological Living, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 207. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51 c 3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 207, March 12th, 2017 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us through social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner-teacher collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred all of the written content for the contribution lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan is purposed to teach all subjects, to all learning levels, and any learning environment, using the central theme of contribution. We have now completed and transferred to our website 100% of the written part of 52 lesson plans, which is one per week for one full year. You can see the full list on our Lesson Plans for Life page. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the Caring and Kindness lesson plan, as you can see here. In addition, the core team continued creation of renders for the Ultimate Classroom. After adding a xylophone to the green room, we created the final render, as you see here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also began adding people and then researched learning tools and toys to create these second generation renders for the Ultimate Classroom. And Jennifer Zhao, web designer, helped create all these images for what will be organized sections on the Learning Tools and Toys page. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. Ashwin Patil, web developer, continued with his 21st week developing the new search engines for our site. This week's work was integration of the third major round of revisions and edits to the highest good food search engine and creation of the Earth Bay Village Pod 1 search engine. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team completed conversion of the compressed earth block village to the new and simplified color and layer format, as shown here. And the core team made revisions to the Earth Bay Village Tropical Atrium Tree and Sunlight Guide and added it to the related web pages. You can see the revised image here. The core team touched up the tropical atrium images previously drawn from Douglas Sim Stenhouse, architect and watercolor artist, and added them to the Earth Bike Village page. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her fifth week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week, she further developed the water storage details and researched and integrated vacuum toilets into the design. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 59 of Dean's work, developing this progression of 40 images for the room furniture and lighting for the east side living spaces. The final three images here are new from this week 
and this series of five images showing Tess placing a blanket on the couch. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, created this final compressed earth block village front area looking southeast render. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book. Here is the latest updated page talking about insulation. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on 3D placement and checking of the structural supports for the city center cupola. Divdi Dondarkar, electrical engineer, continued with her 30th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was modeling and testing different colors in the city center's social and living dome bathrooms and living dome bedrooms. Rami Vudi, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued their work on the energy infrastructure for the city center. What you see here are a couple of photos from the weekly collaborative calls with Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and this week's focus on initial wiring layouts for the rooms and additional research into the specific electrical components we'll be using. Hanan Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his 11th week working on the Duplicle City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was finishing layer and color updates and the majority of integrating the new dome geometry into the master file then moving windows, new furniture placement, and beginning to update the elevations, all of which is shown here. Lucas Tasui Da Silva, fourth-year computer engineering student, also continued his work on the control systems layout, reorganizing it, shown here, to spread out the symbols, eliminate overlap, and add pointers as needed to make it easier to identify what each component is and points to it on the plan. And Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, also completed her seventh week working on the concrete foundation design and tutorial details for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was reviewing the code for concrete floor design and determining the next steps for the basement wall in construction practice tutorial. And Adrian gould Choquette, mechanical engineer, also finished her eleventh week and began work on the City Center heating and air conditioning load calculations you see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team finished another round of developing the new highest good education video. You can see that video here. One Community is a 100% volunteer operated, nonprofit and non-governmental organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. To help, share this video and visit our helping page. One community is advancing ecological living through open source and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainability. To accomplish this, we've created an evolution of sustainability, or what we call an evolution of sustainability, that combines the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, everybody knows those, and we're combining them with what we consider to be the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and truer stewardship. Putting these things together is an evolution of sustainability and a complete model that will function as a teacher demonstration community, village, city, and hub to teach others how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as well. The way that we're using this to advance ecological living is that if we can make it easy enough, demonstrate it as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, we see the idea as capable of spreading on its own, as becoming self-replicating. And so we're building all of the tools, tutorials, resources, open source, do-it-yourself instructions for replication anywhere in the world. And creating one community as a place where people will be able to visit, experience everything that it is that we're creating, take the components that we've developed, and replicate them on their own, either as individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration hub designed to meet all the needs sustainably of everyone living there. 
Through this, we see ourselves advancing ecological living by spreading the idea into areas where it currently doesn't exist, by making it more affordable, and by demonstrating the attractive nature of it so that people can participate that normally wouldn't necessarily even consider this as a way of living. By demonstrating it as a better way. This is what one community is doing. And we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all who believe that it is possible and believe that we can create a sustainable world that will benefit all people everywhere within our lifetime and believe that it is time to create a world that truly works for everybody. To be able to put the politics and the different ethnic differences and cultural differences and religious differences and any other differences that we can think of aside and say, what are the things that we agree on? What is it that we can work on that we agree on and not argue about those things? And this is what one community is doing. We're creating community models where people can come together with like values and they don't have to match our values. They could be whatever values people want, whatever they define and create living environments that better meet the needs of everybody living there than the way they're living right now. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if it sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, get involved. We've got lots of different ways to do that, ranging from the pioneer members, which will move to one community, build everything that is that we're creating to just consultants operating behind the scenes or the easiest way to share our information or to help one communities to share our information through social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest. We're on about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access our information, for people to share our information as we continue to open source and free share everything that it is that we're doing. The food, the energy, the housing, the education, the economic models, the fulfilled living practices, the true or stewardship, putting all these things together and open source and free sharing them as individual components and as the complete model being designed to be demonstrated as a place where tens of thousands and eventually hundreds of thousands of people will be able to visit and experience everything that one community is doing. And we're doing this, A, because we want to live this way, B, because we see the possibility to create a world that truly works for everybody. And C, because we want to share what it is that we're doing. We want people to be able to experience this. And because we believe that all of the challenges of our planet are not only interrelated, but interdependent. And so we've created one community as a model for simultaneously addressing them all with the adaptability, the flexibility to be able to adjust for those things that we haven't considered and open sourcing and free sharing it so that we can invite the entire world to participate and help us to evolve and create this even better or to create different iterations, different versions of it, all of the world working collaboration, cooperation, helping to advance ecological living for everybody everywhere. Taking the resources where they are right now and giving people a good reason to take them where they're needed most and building a global think tank of cooperative and collaborative highest good communities working together to create a better world for everybody. This is what one community is doing. This is how we're advancing eco ecological living for everybody. We're doing it right now. You're invited to participate. People ask, of course, what is the number one thing that one community is seeking right now? Well, our primary focus right now is open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're focusing on. The housing, the food, the energy infrastructure, all the details so that we're ready to start building. The number one thing we need, though, is we're still seeking large-scale funding. Nobody at one community, including myself, is paid for what it is that we're doing. We are a 100% volunteer organization. Unpaid for what it is that we're doing, but we're still seeking that large-scale funding to purchase the property, to get the property off the market that we have identified as ideal for everything that it is that we're creating. Property that we spent two and a half years to find. Property that we've been focusing on now for almost seven years to get that property off the market so that we can take our whole development process to the next level as we focus on those details that can only be focused on when we know where we're gonna build, where we're 100% sure, and so that we can disclose all of the details, all the location details, all the specifics related to that property, and build our team even faster by legitimizing our project even more through that piece of information. So if you or somebody you know has access to the funds or is interested in either investing in one community or donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, we invite you to contact us. We'd love to speak with you. In the meantime, we are going to continue to focus on and we are continuing to focus on open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing and becoming shovel ready so that we do have that funding, we can start building immediately creating all the foundations for teacher demonstration, communities, villages, and hubs to be built around the world right now, open sourcing everything as we do, 
working out all the details, answering all the questions that need to be answered, and making our project that much more viable with every single day of progress. This is how we're creating world change. This is how we're advancing ecological living for everybody. This is how we see ourselves creating a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. Everybody is in invited to participate, and we thank you for following our progress. Uh, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all of our open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Uh, and thank you. Thanks for following our progress. Thank you for the little donations that we get, the $5, $10, the occasional $50 and $100 donations. They make a big difference. We're an all unpaid staff, but it's still our expenses that are associated with keeping everything running that we're doing. And so we're grateful for everybody that helps support in that way and know that every dollar goes towards our open source goals. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.